Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God. It's time for Inspiration Vibe. And to Nendele Naile series, where are you? And I asked you that question and God was asking you, where are you? And now is the acceptable time now to receive the word of God. As we continue, we continue on that series. And we saw that last week that sin takes you away from the presence of God. When sin enters a man, it takes you away from the presence of God. And you can see that God's agenda is to have a fellowship with man. But the devil's main agenda is to introduce sin into your life. Because when sin comes into your life, you're taken away in, from the presence of God of God and when sin comes into your life you are considered dead you are dead and I found that verse in Romans chapter 5 verse 12 and it says mm -hmm. therefore okay let me just go back to verse 11 up or be in a semi death in Adam life in Christ therefore just as through one man sin entered the world and death through sin and thus death spread to all men because all have sinned so death enters man because of sinning and through one man's disobedience we were all made sinners and through one man's obedience that is Jesus Christ we were made rushes in him and we be called the righteousness of God and that is our scripture for today in 2nd Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21 that says for he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we may become the righteousness of God. Now, if you believe in Jesus Christ and you accept him in your life, you are called the righteousness of God. You automatically become the righteousness of God. Even the word of God tells us no one comes to me. No one comes to the Father through unless through Christ. So you have to believe in Jesus Christ. Now you are born again and now you be called the righteousness of God through Christ. You are now the righteousness of God in Christ. And now is the acceptable time. My whole point is this. <laughs> I will summarize you to this. For you to be restored back to the presence of God, you have to repent. So I'm here for two categories of people. Those that fail, yeah, those that were born again but fail. And two, those that have never received Jesus Christ. Because you as a person need a resurrection power that is Jesus Christ to come into your life. You need to accept God into your life now to be called the righteousness of God. Now you'll be restored back to the presence of God. And there are things, there are advantages in the presence of God. Besides the advantages, you not having Christ to your considered dead spiritually dead just as adam was kicked out of the ad the garden of eden he was kicked out of the presence of god but after the fall god started working out a plan to restore man to himself that's why he sent jesus christ for us to for, to die on the cross for us john 3 16 for god so loved us he loved us so much that he needed us back into his presence god loves you so much that he needs you back to his presence he needs you back he needs he needs that he needs to restore that fellowship with him he needs to reconcile you back with him that's why he sent his only son so I'm gonna pray with you today mm -hmm. to that person who needs Jesus to that person who fell just repeat this after me all right <clears throat> say Lord Jesus on this day I acknowledge that I am a sinner and today I accept you Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Take away my nature and give me the nature of Jesus Christ. Today, I've been made new through the blood of Jesus Christ. I invite the Holy Spirit to walk through me through the salvation. I thank you, Jesus, for dying for me. I give you glory and honor for this. We pray, trusting and believing. Amen. And I want to pray with you that God, may God help you to walk right in salvation. May God help you that may you never fall. Anyone who has made this prayer, trust you, me, you will never lose your salvation. I covenant to that salvation that you received today, that you will not lose it. Beginning now, you are a new person and you are officially a child of God. Hallelujah. And you've been restored back to the presence of God. Amen. Amen. Glory, glory to God. There is no better decision you'll ever make other than this. So welcome to the kingdom. Look for a church that is near you that teaches the word of God, that teaches the doctrine in the Bible.
please, I hope you never land in a cult, but I trust and believe that you land in the best and the right church that will help you walk and disciple you in the journey of salvation. And on that, we've come to the end of the Inspiration Vibe. 